Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, first things first, I want to say thank you for following on Instagram and also subscribing to the YouTube channel. We start to get a lot of questions through now, a lot of, um, and it's it's exciting to have this in this opportunity to have interaction with people all around the world. You know, dealing with the hurdles, challenges, and issues that you may be facing, whether that be on the gym floor or general, general in, in your general day to day lives. Um, one of the questions that came through that I really wanted to, to explain today was um, what got you, what was it, what got you, word for word, so um, why did, what made you start training? Um, I started training when I was 12 years old I suppose and it was born out of a need for security. Um, I was a gobby kid when I was younger. I used to, I had a big mouth, so, and but I was quick. So what I used to do was I used to um, basically run my mouth off to whichever kid it was that I wanted to, to run my mouth off to and then rely on my speed to get me away from it. And I had a fail safe. My fail safe was a guy that I used to call Uncle Byron. Now Uncle Byron was a kid that was larger than life, both in personality and in physicality. So as long as I could get to Uncle Byron, I was safe. Then Uncle Byron decided he was going to move. Well, he didn't decide, his mum did. So they were gonna move from um, South London to Jamaica. And I realized I had a very, very big problem because I'd had all these kids that I've been mouth enough to over the years that are waiting to um, seek vengeance upon me that now would have an opportunity to do so. And I remember being, yeah, about 12 years old and I was sat watching TV in the evening with, with my mum and then Rocky IV came on, on, on TV. And I remember looking at, watching the movie and the constant question that was going through my head at the time was, why would I not want to bump into either one of those two individuals that I saw on the TV in a, in a dark alley? And I got past the fact that they were boxers and I started taking a look at him thinking, right, well, if it's not the fact that they're skilled fighters, what is it? And it was just literally their physique. And I became obsessed with it. I was like, how do you build this? You know, and back then the internet really wasn't a, a major thing. So I was speaking to people that were bigger than me. Then they were like, right, well, you do push ups. So that's what I did. So I started doing push ups every morning and night. And I started challenging myself. So going, right, well, we start with 10 and we'll go up 10 each week. So that's what I did. So I would do 10 push-ups in the morning, 10 push-ups at night, do that for a week, then 20, 30, so on and so on and so on and so on. And it got to a point where I was now addicted to the numbers. I was now addicted to the feeling that I had afterwards, which now we all know is called DOMS, you know? And I was addicted to the actual muscle pump itself. And that's where my obsession with bodybuilding began. You know, it came about by accident as a need for protection and then carried its own way through my, the entirety of my life. I remember that I, I got to a point where push-ups weren't enough. And you know, you know, I got to a point where I was doing, I think it was about 350 in the morning and 350 in the, in the evening and it, and it was reasonably easy. And I remember like, thinking, right, well, what's the next phase? What's the next step? How, how do I, this is now easy, why is the next challenge? And then someone mentioned the word, you, know, you need to get people that are big go to the gym. So at 14 years old, I tried to get into the gym and of course I got told no. Um, but I'd already had a mindset of, I, I, I didn't like the word no, I didn't like being told that I couldn't do something. So I kept coming back again and again and again. This girl behind the desk was, you can imagine this kid kept coming back and back and back and she's getting quite frustrated with me. And no, you can't, no, you can't, no, you can't. You, and eventually she told me, you can't come back until you come back when you're 16. So I left it at that point. But on my 16th birthday, I came back with my passport and that's the I didn't say anything to her. I just slid the passport down on the desk and said, and, and on the date, the page that it was open, it showed my, displayed my date of birth. So there I was, I was on the gym floor and I approached the first machine that I, I, I saw, which was a lap pull down, and attempted to, to deal with this machine with as much confidence as I could. Now, if smartphones were what they are today, back then I'm sure I would have ended up on some sort of um, gym fail video as I yanked and awkwardly pulled this machine. But nevertheless, there I was. 
going at it. And then all of a sudden the lights went out. Or so I thought. As I turned around, it turns out the lights hadn't gone out. It's just that it had been blocked by a very large man. Now, I wish I knew this guy's name to this day to really thank him. Because as he barked at me and said, you're doing it wrong. He also invited me to follow him around the gym. As it turns out, he had seen me attempt to get in the gym again and again and again and again. Um, and saw potential. So as he moved around the gym, he used the machine and he let me jump on straight afterwards. And so the training methods and the dedication that I have to training was reinforced and really hammered home. And I still, that drive's still there. The drive's still there to this day. And it's what I carry forward with me every training session now. And what you see on the videos that we put out and what you see displayed through the um, various posts that go out on Instagram. So there you have it, that's the answer to the question. What got me started? It was born from necessity for security and then evolved into something that I carry forward for life. So that's me. Um, this is Andrew, I'm signing out. My name is Andrew Grosset, also known as Hench1980. Stay strong, stay focused. <laughs>